Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another home project. So today, my shed is coming. So if you've been here for any amount of time, you know that I have been dreaming of having a work shed for a long time. Last year, when we built the laundry room built in, in my living room, and there was sawdust flying everywhere and tools all over my living room for a week, two weeks. How long did that project take? <laughs> I swore to you guys, I was going to get a shed for a workspace to put my miter saw, to put a table saw, so we can do these big belts not in the middle of my living room. And today, after over a year of dreaming and several months of planning, <laughs> you can want to go back to the beginning. I do have a planning for the shed video. I'm going to do a shed and then a bunch of raised beds. I'm not 100% sure what that's going to look like. All I know is later today they are bringing the shed and it's going to go back here. I also did a video on buying the shed and one on prepping this. I'm calling it a field. It's the weird part next to my house. Um, so if you want to check out all of those videos, I will leave them down below. But today we are getting a shed. I'm going to film the whole process for you, um, from them bringing it in to setting it up. I'm not hundred percent sure what that entails. While I did, you know, order my house, it's a manufactured house, the Lume by Buccaneer. And you can go watch that delivery setup video. I've never ordered a shed before. So this is a new, exciting, fun thing for me. We're going to see what they do. And then at the end, I'll come back, give you a little tour, answer any questions um, that you may have that I have right now. And we will go from there. So I'm excited. Goody, we're getting a shed. Goody's very excited. All right, so I'm going to go up on my porch now. Wait, we won't film that part. Come on, bitch. All right, y'all, the shed is here. I'm so excited. It looks so good over here, way better than I expected. As you can see and hear, it has been raining like crazy the last couple days. So right after the shed was delivered, my brother came over to check it out and he noticed that we were slated to have severe thunderstorms for the next five days. We are still in the middle of that. So he actually helped me put this really attractive barricade of railroad ties in front of the shed because I have learned living in this house that um, until the pea gravel's in, until the grass is in, all the helicopters are flying. Until the garden's in, until the grass is in, this is just sand and it washes away really easy, which until I put all this landscaping in was really trying to affect the foundation of my house. And the shed is only on blocks. So I was really afraid that right after they installed it, this five day severe thunderstorm was going to come through and wash it away. So the railroad ties are helping. Once the thunderstorms are over, my brother's gonna come back. We're going to dig around the shed 
and permanently place those kind of as the foundation to hold the water back from going underneath and affecting the blocks that it's sitting on. Um, and until I get the raised beds in and the pea gravel in and just the rest of the landscaping done, that will hold back the water. Once all the landscaping is done, we shouldn't have a problem. So, it's here. I am so excited. I will be even more excited once the field of dirt is pretty. But in the meantime, I really hope you guys saw that helicopter just blow right past the edge of those trees. Um, in the meantime, I am just soaking it all in. I have done a whole mood board for the extended part of the plant. So if you checked out the video before this where I kind of dreamed up a bunch of different plants for this space and then asked your opinions, oh my dog is not happy. Poor baby. I'm going to have to go check on him. Um, he probably doesn't like the helicopters. Um, anyways, I have taken that last plan, mom's plan, and kind of put it on steroids. So maybe I will do a new video on that plan coming up, but in the meantime, sheds in. So I will be back in the next video with whatever the next steps are. Probably putting the railroad ties in. See you then. Bye.